we made it. We made it uh, via white trail, then green fish, and uh, so we're at the we're at some blue trail thing, and we could see the Niagara River, River, River uh, right there. And I'm never doing this again, but I still have to go up. So, but uh, so I did that for all the people who can't, and I'm never going down here again. So, you know, <laughs> so there's, that one's for you. You know, I still gotta go up this this bastard. Okay. I did the entire Niagara. Well. Well, one trail of the Niagara Gorge, which I consider one of the great achievements of my life. All right, so we're here in this new location, which is uh, still unfinished, but this will be our uh, home theater room slash office space. Uh, me and the girlfriend already painted it. We chose a light gray, dark gray, and yeah, no, it's good. We did all this ourselves. Uh, two coats primer, two coats paint, great. Uh, spent a couple weekends doing it. Uh, yeah. And uh, the couch, this fantastic green couch you see me sitting on, this was a journey. Uh, <laughs> we had originally uh, wanted to go with red as the, the accent color for this whole room. Uh, so we went to a store, uh, some warehouse store, we found this beautiful red couch. And we said, okay, well, that's the one we'll get. So a couple weeks later, we went back with the money and everything and uh, well the couch had just been sold so shit right so we went out uh, depressed as I was because I really wanted that fucking red couch we went to one place another sort of warehouse place we found this great sort of uh, faux leather couch and it came with uh, also a, um, a, a lounge like a chaise sort of lounge attached and it was great and the problem with that is we measured it it might be too big it might be too big like the couch ended up being 77 point something inches well it might be too big for the space because we only have a limited space to work with so came back measured the room and yeah it turns out that that couch will be too big so uh because TV will go there, right? Two speakers, surround speakers will be on floating shelves here, and you know, so too big. Well, with the shelves here, a 77 inch couch you won't be able to get through. So, again, once again, depression set in, and uh, and I had the money, I had I had the fucking money, right? So, we went to another place, we told the guy what we needed, and he goes, Well, we I have a nice little green couch up there, and uh, me and Tina, we were both thinking, well, inside are the green, gray, there's no way, you know, because most green couches you see are really ugly, you know, uh, and old fashioned looking, right? So, so anyway, so I'm looking on the, uh, the first floor and she went up to the, the second floor with the guy. And so I'm looking really great stuff. Then she calls my name like 10, 10 minutes later and she goes, Oh, uh, Dre, come and look at this. So. I go up, I look at this, this very, very pretty green couch out there. I sit on it, I said, oh my God, this is the couch. So we both sit on it, and it's a small, it's a love seat though, but it's perfect. And so I said, well, are you still able to sit here and put your legs across? I said, for feet, not fucking laundry. See, that's all I care about is that she could, you know, put her legs across. And so, yeah, sure, it, wor it worked, and it, it's very comfortable, and it's Christmas. This whole Chronicles here was supposed to, to be about the summer, like summer 2017, because it really was amazing. Like, um, yeah, yeah, we, uh, oh my God, it's just so much. It, it was very busy. Uh, we went back to uh, to uh, Sudbury, you know, uh, just for a day. I uh, spent the night there, uh, and um, yeah, no, it was great. And uh, <laughs> went to, you know, visited. Basically, she met my my whole family, you know, and uh, my, you know, my we, my brother first because we stopped over at my brother's first to drop off a guitar and everything. And then we waited for my mom to because we were gonna go have lunch. You know, yeah. Oh, speaking of my brother, if, if I had a screen in front of me, it would say, pause for sincere moment. I noticed my, my dad wasn't answering my calls, you know, so 
thought, well, you know, lately been treated with a lot of fucking disrespect. Then I remembered my dad is dead. So here you go. I just, I just, I just put these flowers here and uh, bought them at the something cheap. And uh, you know, you do the, you come to these cemeteries and you do the thing where you talk to inanimate objects to, and there there is no up there anyway, right? So it's a, you're talking to that, but there's some comfort in it, I guess. But so I bought him flowers, which I don't even think he liked flowers, but whatever, it looks nice. So they'll be dead in a couple of days anyway. So, you know, dead like him. So, you know, <laughs> he'd like that joke, so it's okay. I remember the, the morning uh, my dad died. Uh, I checked my Skype, right? I checked my Skype and <laughs> my brother had sent a message, okay? And you, you could all, you, you know where this is going. So, my brother wrote, Dad died, and possibly the greatest use of an emoticon I've ever seen. Dad died, smiley face. I'm not kidding. He, he actually wrote it. I think, my, I think my dad would have got a good laugh at that if, um, if he knew what an emoticon was. So, you're reading your book. Mm -hmm. She's reading her um, book called Anno Dracula, which I called Anne Dracula. And uh, myself, I wrote my uh, God is not great because, you know, there's no truer statement than that. So, this is Rock Lake. This is where we, uh, we came to swim. Uh, instead of across the way, you know, you would go across uh, Highway 17, but the other side is uh, Lake Huron is right over there. But um, this is not connected to Lake Huron. Uh, this is Rock Lake. It's a very nice place. And there are some cottages around here. I'm told are pretty expensive. Yeah. And this is a lot less challenging than the uh, Niagara Gorge was, for sure. <laughs> and this is uh, beach day number two. Uh, just like the first, except uh, more burnt from yesterday. And. Uh, yeah, got a lot of reading done, and uh, we're about to leave though in 20 minutes. But yeah, beach day number two is a big success. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, uh, it was interesting doing the um, our beach days over in uh, Bruce Mines um, over the summer, <laughs> because the summer before that, the summer of um, 2016, which is the summer I met Tina, uh, well, met on Tinder. Um, well, I was with my friend over in Porta Lucy, and that's when I got the worst sunburn I've ever had. Like, it was full full front burn there, okay? Because uh, I was wearing my, my little designer skimpy things there, which was fucking crazy. Like, no, I was so burnt. Um, the, the day after, me and, me and my uh, my friend Dave, we had gone. We went to the casino at the in casino. Uh, well, we went to Casino in Niagara in Niagara Falls, and oh no no, it was fine because I was dressed and I didn't move around too much. I stayed sitting and you know just playing the slots or and and losing, <laughs> but yeah, worst sunburn ever. Uh, but it was it was it was fun because this with, with the beach days with Tina it was nice. Not now I got to. I got to experience, oh, this is really uh, having fun on the beach, you know. We, we had our little uh, parasol things, which I believe are not really made well. They, they should be weighted down because they keep blowing up, you know, the slightest gust of wind there. Um, but no, it was great. We had beer, we had, you know, yeah. And I, I defy anybody to say you cannot drink a Guinness on the beach. You can, because I did, and it's wonderful, yeah. As heavy as it is, you, you can. I suppose I should uh, use some more alliteration. All right, so the stunning Radisson in sultry Sudbury. Of course, that doesn't, I wouldn't really call it that. And uh, so here's a map here. And uh, so we're all stocked up here. We got our uh, sink out here. Big little mirror. Let's see what's in the see what they provided us with for the price of uh, 140 that's the uh, Expedia Jill we got a curling iron ironing board good 
Some good stuff there. Our bathroom is clean. Good, good, good. The toilet is clean considering what just took place in here. The uh, tub is clean. We're good, we're good. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, there is Tina over there. Say hello. Okay, there's Tina. And yeah, we were only get, were able to get a, two, a room with two double beds. So we're used to sleeping on the queen. So we haven't decided yet which one to sleep in and which one to fuck in. So we, but we'll decide that later, don't you worry. So, and uh, so we got the little armor here, the usual uh, complimentary uh, fridge, which was empty, which pissed me off, but whatever. Didn't order anything. Coffee maker down here with some coffee. I didn't, we didn't check that out yet, but probably the usual stuff. Uh, TV, and two double beds here. I had to turn on the lights here because there is no light, like other than these things, and outside. And of course, we got oh, oh yay! We got the phone book here, and oh those Gideons, Holly Bibble. Yes, yes. She was quite the tramp in high school, that old Holly Bibble, and. Uh, and our view out the door, well, the door, it's not a door, uh, thankfully, is because uh, we're downtown Sudbury here. So, there we go, yeah, other mirror. And this is our view. Right downtown. All right, and boom. See, I remember that parking lot. This parking lot there, right on the side, you could uh, go up the staircase and go onto the uh, the roof of the uh, the city center there, which is now called the uh, Rainbow Center. That's the mall downtown. Yeah. So we're here, and our checkout time is 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. So we're here in uh, Sault Ste. Marie on this lovely rainy day, and uh, here I'm looking at the International Bridge here. You can see all the Americans coming in and all their stupid Trump-loving cars and all their stuff with all their Trump shit and no, no, but but it's raining and we're here. I've never been here, so we're on the boardwalk, uh, but uh, not for too much longer because I'm getting wet. I'm wearing my fucking suspenders here. So, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to get this nice shot here. Wonderful with the bridge and. Uh, we were going to try and do those locks, but it's it's raining. So. I saw Romeo and Juliet with Tina at the Stratford Festival. You know, uh, wonderful, amazing, like so many things I did. You know, uh, so for next year, coming in the new year, and today is Christmas, woohoo, okay. But coming in the new year, uh, we're going to go see, uh, we're going to try and go see the Rocky Horror Picture Show also at uh, Stratford Festival, or I'm not sure which theater it's going to be, probably festival. And, you know, but it's going to be amazing. No, but we did so, so, so many things. But uh, for the, uh, for Romeo and Juliet, yeah, we were dressed up for that. We, yeah, yeah, all color, color coordinated and everything. Yeah, it was really fantastic. Really, really fantastic. Wonderful show. Uh, if, if, if somebody was to ask me for a review, I'd say it was excellent. But I, I you know, honestly, I didn't, I, I, I didn't really care for uh, Juliet. I know it's, it's difficult to, difficult to say that. Uh, but no, I, I thought it's very modern brat, right? She, the, the way the, she was directed is very, very modern brat. Uh, and it, it really bothered me. There, there's some other stuff that bothered me about it where uh, a lot of the dialogue was really hyper fast, right? However, this is correct. It's, it's, it's artistically correct to Shakespeare's uh, vision of it because he wrote it as a two hour play, okay? The two hours traffic of our stage. So he wrote it as a two hour play. And it was a two-hour play, and this was the entire play. There was nothing omitted, so they had to do all of this in two hours, you know. 
Uh, but it was, it really was wonderful. This was the year also I, I went to two big concerts by myself. Yes, indeed. I saw on October, uh, what was it, second? Uh, second or third, see, now, now I forget now. But I went to, I saw uh, the, Roger Wa uh, the Roger Waters show, us and them, at the uh, Air Canada Centre. Yeah, that was brilliant. That to me, I bought the ticket a year ago, a year prior to the show. Uh, but to me, that was a, a bucket list event, okay? And it was, it was just really, really wonderful. And also, uh, <laughs> less than a week before the show, so a couple days before the show, uh, the other, this other show I'm, I'm talking about, uh, less than a week, I'm looking on the Air Canada Centre website and I look and I said, holy shit. Okay, I could sit in the same section, up in the 300 section, okay, it's still pretty close, you know. And I said, oh wow, I could see, look, Guns N' Roses, not in this lifetime tour, I could see for um, 100 bucks, right? So I texted my girlfriend, I said, oh my god, babe, I could see Guns N' Roses for, for 100 bucks, should I go? And she goes, well, yeah, because if you don't, you'll regret it. That was it, fuck it, I ordered the ticket right then, that's all I, that's all I needed. So ordered the ticket. Usually I have stuff sent over. Uh, I have it mailed, but because it less than a week to go, so I said, no, no, I'll pick it up at will call. And that's what I did. And so two, sh two big shows by myself. It was amazing. Camera's wet, it's okay. There you go. There. That. Yeah. It's so powerful. <laughs> For the last hurrah before the uh, detox begins after this three weeks of uh, uh, high sugar diet and stuff, so this is before the detox. That is a double chocolate fantasy banana split. Uh, it looks really good. I'm, I'm going to enjoy it. The other thing I'm really proud of is uh, uh, going to Canada's Wonderland with my girlfriend who is afraid of heights, like deathly afraid of heights. But she did the Leviathan, she did Behemoth with me, front seat, you know, and uh, just fantastic. And she, she did it like a champ. Uh, you know, uh, but uh, yeah, no, it's amazing to, to get somebody out of their comfort zone. The, you see, Canada's Wonderland came first, right? So I, I, I took my girlfriend out of her comfort zone by making her ride these, these monsters. But then the, the gorge, we did that after, you know, so, but it was, yeah, no, oh, like what an amazing summer.